I would love to see the anima uh, anonymizer in World Warships as well. Shit, that's 24. I should have taken more lead. Forgot how long range. This isn't the Zuma 21 range. This is uh, Baye. AKA 24, 25 cam range. That's not gonna be. Oh! Pretty okay lead, actually. Many games have streamer modes. World of Warships is sadly not one of them. What is the gimmick? This thing has Yamato Sigma on the Izuma. Is it 2.1 Sigma, I think? At the cost of longer reload. Obviously, the environment down Mitchell here is Cannibal? all salt. Thank you for the, the ceiling is salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. Shoot her down, Alan Sandy. Is my carrier just gonna dumpster that gun? Out? That's black smoke, that means speed boost. That means we need to take a big lead. Except he wasn't going full speed. That's interesting. Okay. Speed boost coming around corner, half speed. Hatch weekend, I'll play. Wait, are you really pushing around? Why are you pushing around the corner, Crash Down? Is on fire. Mm, I can shoot the nose, but I can't shoot anything else. That dispersion is very spi spicy, though. I gotta say, the dispersion combined with the Zuma's improved penetration can be pretty nasty. Of all these new premiums, this is probably the one I've enjoyed the most. I always enjoyed uh, accurate guns. Ah, oh, shit, it's turning out. So it's buffed the zoom in that way? Yeah, but it costs you the reload though. You got, this is 27 with AR. Let's see if it makes a full turn. That's a yes. I love that you can actually sit that all the Royal Navy battleships now. When they fuck up and give you bronze on. One salty fox, thank for the aid. Much more humble than you would understand. The enemy team has taken the lead. Is he gonna border hump away? Ah shit, then he's gonna dodge. Yeah, he's border humping away. Okay. The lion fucked up though. He's going on this side of the island, which means he can't turn, out, turn away before my guns are reloaded. So he's gonna commit to the push, or... 
Regardless, we're gonna stop here. He turns out, as we expect. Ah, oh, no sitter. Did you see three shells hit your number two? I saw one hit the waterline that didn't register. That happens so much lately. I thought that was good. Uh, that looked like more hits than I got, but honestly, I've gotten kind of uh, numb to that because I feel like I see it all the time now. Good job, Moron says Arms Daniel. Our Alsace who died here, here I think, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I'd like to shoot the Richelieu, but I was giving me a broad so... Let's hope the lion doesn't block the shells now. Oh, they got some nice humping going on there. The lion thing, nice. I was gonna turn in to give us broadside. Can we finish him as well? Enemy hmm. mm -mm -mm. Enemy of all the premiums, powder. this thing is by far the most interesting. Is it his pushing south? Too bad it's so ugly. Well, I mean, this is just Izuma camo. It's gonna be. It has its own camo. We we just ha haven't seen it yet. You can see it on PTS. The new camo. It's like shiny. It looks like a rap a rapper designed it. It's got so much shiny chrome on it. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure how the guns decided that, but you know what? What do I know? Which buy a specialty? Accurate guns. Although shooting is at this Puerto Rico, you wouldn't believe it. Can I take finish this guy? Let's slow down for one more ball. Can we slow down it? Nah, there's no need, they're gonna kill him. Turn broadside to shoot me. That's adorable. Come on, team. It's taking so long. Yo, how's this guy alive? Attention. Reporting the target position. Just kill him. Hmm. Don't care reverse the way. Spotter airborne. He's not gonna stop reversing, is he? No, it just smokes. And we'll help our uh, Brindisi. Oh, 
Attention, reporting the target position. Still winnable. We got eight minutes to work on. Okay, so it looks like the game is much later than that, but that's because it's been full weekend, so people have been suiciding left, right, and center. Fuck it on. Burger about to give me a broadside. Or grounding. I think it's gonna give me a broadside. And ground. No, he's gliding past. Oh, did you see how? Sl did you guys see how those waters splashed into the water, or how those shells splashed into the water much lower than where I am? Nah, <laughs> that was such an obvious example of it. <laughs> shells just splashing into the water for no reason. That's such a meme. Man. That is such a meme, man. What are they doing? Well, the CV was afraid he might win a game on a weekend, so he's doing his best to throw, which I can respect, because he's on the enemy team. Hmm, number is charging out. Okay, it's lining up torpedoes on me. Not yet. I assume it's a work in progress. No? Fuck. Soon I drop torps on me, so let's turn the ship is on fire. Zeppelin is sadly basically impossible to sit at all. That's good. All forces capture that area. Good job, good well take done, then. Has no armor deck though, yeah, but none of the tier eight uh, carriers have armor decks. They're all extremely vulnerable. But Zeppelin's the only one that's almost impossible to sit at all. In plaque has in plaque has like this strip in the middle, doesn't it? It's not like a full armor. It's like a strip in the middle. That fucking accuracy is filthy as hell. God. This is, this is one of the few premiums. This is a premium that I actually quite like. The, the ceiling is salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt. 14-4. Thank you the for the 30 months, my dude. Subs go whoosh 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 Like th this game looked, like, this game went into end game really, really quickly, and that's kind of what happens, especially now that it's holidays and it's and it's uh, it's Christmas holidays, because people basically potatoes tend to die very quickly, and they tend to play play very very aggressive because they don't realize the risks. So in this game, we were like halfway through the game, but it was already full end game. Enemy team was pushing through B and. Our team was huddled here and like everything was already very very late positioning wise but it was only halfway through so i knew we had plenty of time to still turn this game around 
But the range is a big, a bit too big overkill. Yeah, I mean, you don't, the ship doesn't need as much range as it has. And in terms of uh, premium, it is pretty unimaginative. I mean, it's literally Izumo, different camo, slightly better dispersion, better range, worse reload. That's it. That, that's basically all, all there is to it. Well done, Des Moines. Compliment plays well. He beat my 2.6k base. But yeah, mm. shell the shell velocity. The Izumo has got the guns, and the Izumo have got them buffed a lot. And this takes all those buffs and then adds dispersion to it. It's pretty nasty. It, this Earl guy is still working for Wargaming after yesterday's shits. He threw on the Wargaming customers. I mean, uh, Sub Octavian apologized about it on um, the CC Discord. Because for obvious reasons, because well, no one knows what the hell he's doing. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I read it. Has he has he responded? Has he responded? I uh, did sub. Yeah, sub Octavian actually posted it on Reddit. Well, then I can show it to you. He posted this on the CC Discord as well. Uh, let's see. Desktop. Here we go. Hello guys, on behalf of the World of Warships team, I apologize for the incident with iEarl's recent tweets. This was his personal idea, and things he stated on Twitter do not represent our team's position. As was said many times, you understand that we made several times with the Puerto Rico event, uh, several mistakes with the Puerto Rico event, and this is an important lesson for the team when planning further events, features, and their presentation. We don't disregard any feedback raised by the players or CC, and we don't deny that the level of grind in this event was very hard. We appreciate all players' passion and concerns for the game, even if we don't, if we don't always agree with some of them in discussions or on personal level. I wonder who this could be aimed at. Uh, as for tweets, we believe that they were not appropriate and we will resolve this internally after New Year's holidays. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do about it now, but again, please take my sincere apologies. I think in an attempt to troll the community, Earl Grey just trolled his own vacation. If that's not... is that uh, ironic? I think it's pretty ironic. He wanted to troll everyone else and he ended up trolling himself. But yeah. I mean, ultimately, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, this is true. Are there any plans to release an actual apology that isn't the thinly wheeled suck an egg, or have we gotten the best apology that's allowed? That, I kind of agree with this, because so far Wargaming hasn't actually apologized. They, they apologize for misrepresenting the event, but they still think the event was a good idea, which is completely dumb, because the event was a terrible idea. And the, t the design of the event was terrible. They still have not apologized. Note that they have not in any way apologized for making the Puerto Rico a massive fucking sinkhole of money where they tried to bait you in with sunken cost fallacy. They have done no such things. They, they, they have not apologized in any... The only thing they have apologized for is for misrepresenting um, the event. And... I mean, saying misrepresenting the event when they posted huge banners, build your own Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rico is amazing. And then they tried some lame ass fucking excuses and apologies of, oh, oh actually, Gorizia was a really big deal and Puerto Rico wasn't actually that big of a deal. Like they tried some really fucking lame shit that obviously no one bought in the community. Uh, and they still posted advertisements for, like their last apology was an advertisement for, hey, this is how quickly you can do the grind if you buy boosters. So they haven't actually given us anything resembling a real apology. Uh, they haven't been the slightest bit sorry for this shit show of an event. And 
now apparently one of their guys thought it was a good idea to troll the community by posting shit on Twitter. I don't, I, I genuinely don't understand. Like, I, 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 may, I make jokes of being a professional streamer, but honestly, I'm pretty fucking shit at it. But even I understand that, even I understand public relations better than these people do. Like, what the fuck? How is it so difficult? If you get this much fucking negative feedback from the community about your event that's supposed to be during Christmas when people are jolly and happy and it's supposed to be a great event. If you get this much shit during the event, then obviously I don't fucking need to tell you that your event was fucking dog shit, okay? Like the entire community just told you as a whole, your event is dog shit. And you don't even feel like apologizing to them for making a dog shit event. I don't understand what the, what the fuck is like ah, confusing shit, man. Mm. I mean, at this point, these apologies are getting a bit. They they're running a bit thin. Like, how about you fucking stop apologizing for all this dumb shit, and how about you instead fix all the dumb shit? How, how about that? I appreciate the apologies, it's nice and all, but I mean, after reading apology, 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 instead of actually, hey, this is what we're going to change about the event to make it more accessible. I'm still waiting for that post. Where, where's the post, hey, we have gotten a lot of negative feedback, so this is what we're going to change. No, they're just, we've gotten a lot of negative feedback and we apologize, and we're not gonna do a damn fucking thing about it. And it's like, what the fuck? I don't understand. I don't understand. The time is running out on this event, and by the looks of it, they're not going to do a single goddamn thing to fix it. You're shit out of luck.